Now, the United States has called for Iran to stop executing anti-government protesters. The State Department said two men who were hanged on Saturday were convicted in sham trials. Britain and the European Union have also condemned Iran's use of the death penalty. Well, we can speak now to our colleague uh, Hosro Isfahani, uh, Iran analyst at BBC Monitoring. Uh, so what do we know about these latest executions? These two young men, Mehdi Karami and Mohammad Husseini, were there uh, were in their early 20s. Uh, they were sentenced to death during court processions that took uh, almost a week, and they were deprived of the right to pick their own lawyers during these proceedings. In addition to that, when they were sentenced to death and the Supreme Court held up the sentences and they knew that they are going to face imminent execution, they were deprived of the right to meet with their family before they were executed. Uh, one of them, Mehdi Karami, his family was literally outside the prison uh, the day he was executed and they were not allowed in to meet their son for a last meeting. Thanks for that. Just talking us through what we know, uh, some chilling details. What about the aim of all this? I suppose part of the aim for the regime is to try and act as a deterrent, to try and stop people protesting. Will that work? Uh, the regime so far has uh, killed uh, 517 people on the streets. 70 children have been among these people. And they have already executed four people in relation to protests. But with every one of these killings, anger and rage has built up in the country. We see that anger and rage is boiling in Iran and every funeral is being turned into a rallying point. Right now, thousands of protesters are in jail. Rice groups put the number of detainees at around 20,000 and at least around 100 of them, according to a rights group, can face the death penalty. But people are still not relenting. Last night we saw videos from Shiraz in Iran with people holding up two women, uh, removing their hijabs, holding up uh, placards with the names of these two men who were executed yesterday. It, uh, on Friday, they, we saw protests in southeast Iran populated by Iran's Baluch ethnic minority with people holding placards saying that silence is slavery. Iranians are not relenting despite the state's cruelty. Well, Hosra, thank you so much for bringing us right up to date with what's happening with those protests in Iran. Thank you.